Hello everyone, it's your girl Niger Queen B and I'm here with Botswana's finest, best rapper from Africa, Zeus. What up, it's your boy Zeus Deuces, Gap City's finest. Put him up in the air, let me see your hands. My five ladies in the place and all my mans. Hip hop's in the spot when they play this jam. It's that real pin for me, you can smell it. Damn, they like that. What's up? They like, they like that. What's up? They like, they like that. What's up? They like, they like that. What's up? You watching Nigel Queen BTV. We're coming to you live from NYC. We going on straight to GC. Yo, B Dub in the house. Uh, I met you on the red carpet at a free meal last year, yeah. and I I had no clue like who Zeus was. And yeah. You like you even had like a you did a, a freestyle, and I was like, oh, he's dope. Yeah. And you were telling me how you were in Brooklyn. Yeah. And you saw the Big A Mural and things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. So like for people out there that do not know who you are, can yeah. you give us like a a walk in the park of who exactly is Zeus. Yeah, um, I always start by saying Zeus is uh, a, a product of Khame Bansi's imagination. <laughs> That's my real name. Um, and uh, born and bred in Botswana. Okay. Uh, for those who don't know Botswana, gotta throw this back to the kids. <laughs> For those who don't know, Botswana is in the heart of Southern Africa, yes. uh, landlocked, a very progressive country in terms of economically, mm -hmm. um, a shining example of, of uh, what's possible in Africa when there's stability of governance. Right. You know, of course, we have our problems, we've had our challenges. Um, amongst the biggest, probably be HIV AIDS. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've, I've done work as well to contribute to that fight, and uh, we've done very well in that space. Hi, kid. <laughs> I like this interview, so I like the outdoor part. I know feel. it's good. It's fine. <laughs> um, uh, and yeah, like uh, I, I grew up with a huge love for the creative arts, you yeah. know, um, music, which led to hip hop. Get you never the dead in. Nigga, work it from my thing. Introduce the god of lightning. Let me get this thing ignite, inciting. Unidentified fly object. Pop your eyes out your eye sockets. Fashion statement. I rock it. Open up. Uh, film. You know, so like I found myself uh, studying business and commerce. Yes. So that I can understand um, the business of the arts more. Um, so I'm an independent recording artist, performing artist. Yeah. Uh, I've recently finished the postgrad in film and TV, majoring in uh, producing. So yeah, I've just made my first short film, first short documentary as well. Um, so yeah, I'm a. I like to think of myself as I don't know, Botswana's answer to like uh, a Jay Z meets Ice Cube wannabe Spike Lee. <laughs> you know. Yeah, man. <laughs> You have like all those people <laughs> in one. Yeah. It's true. You you do have a lot going on for you. You do have you dibble and yeah. dabble in a lot of things. Yeah. And I guess it keeps you busy. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. I didn't even mention the events, you know, shout out Jam oh, for Brunch, gotta do the plug. Yeah. <laughs> um, and shout out my fiance, she's out here like yeah. <laughs> holding down the cam. <laughs> holding it down. Um so yeah, I mean I I've always believed that as people, you know, we're so multifaceted that it's hard for us to do one thing. Well Africa. So. Yeah, you we know, never do one thing. We're resourceful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, trust me, I'm involved in a lot of things, <laughs> right? <laughs> and and sometimes I guess that's the challenge, you know, to see how to prioritize, how to focus, you know, how to synergize, how to leverage, you know. Um, but for me, good business strategy is all about that. It's all about being able to be um, very holistic in your approach, well-rounded, you know, and and. Um, not overly dependent on uh, your eggs in one basket hatching, right, right, you know? Because right. you just never know where it will be for you. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, one thing, you know, people have this idea, like, you know, when I was doing the school thing and I graduated in undergrad, people were like, oh, so that's your plan B. Mm. And I was like, okay, yeah, I guess you can view it that way. It's great that I can always, you know, leave this and, you know, go join a corporate rat race somewhere. But um, I actually feel like that helped my plan A. Right. You know, like if if you have an education, you know, I mean, higher learning period, I feel like helps you think different. You know, um, especially when when it speaks to the subjects that you're involved with, right. like you know, business or marketing, management, right. the like. You know, um, so I don't think of plan 
A, B, C, D, E, no, I feel like there's a, there's a lot of cross-cutting sections in these plans. Mm -hmm. Like, you'll find that the films, you know, the film space I'm getting into uh, creates avenues and channels for my music and my artist brand, you know, which creates opportunities for my nation as a whole, right. for the nation branding that I, I, I'm doing and I want to do more of, right. you know, and the opportunities that I want to create that help address uh, social issues, right. you know, so yeah. So, um, I'm not very good with uh, maps and locations. <laughs> so, if you have, like, South Africa, like, yeah. you know, you have artists from South Africa, and yeah. I feel like they are doing what they have to do. They are, yeah. like, people know them a little bit more than an right. artist from, you know, Botswana. How far is yeah. it from each other? We're neighbors, actually. Okay. I mean, and for me, actually, a lot of people at one point thought I was South African. A lot still think I am South African. Because um, I've enjoyed, uh, 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 a, a good, a fair amount of success in that market. Right. You know, um, my last album was a license to Universal Music South Africa okay. via um, some partners uh, I worked with in the past, Octave Couple Music, mm -hmm. South African production company uh, and management company. Um, and I actually met them when I was doing my undergrad in Joburg. And the reason I even chose to do my undergrad in Joburg is because Joburg is like, oh, Joburg is short for Johannesburg, right, in, right. in case anybody <laughs> doesn't get it. Um, AKA JHB, AKA JSEC. Okay, that's a whole other tangent. <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, a lot of people would consider it the the New York of Africa. Right. You know, it's um, it's it's the melting pot. It's it's the industry uh, capital. You know, um, whether you're talking uh, music and. Uh, well, film, Cape Town is also quite strong. Yeah. The agencies, creative agencies. You know, so so um, it made sense for me. It's like, you know, I, I always joke when I'm here to give people a perspective of Botswana. I say, you know, if if if, if the U.S. or South Africa, and they compare on a lot of levels, just in terms of like, for instance, the how how liberal they both are. Right. You know how ahead of the game they, they both are in a lot of ways, in a lot of industries, especially entertainment. Um, Botswana would be Canada, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, you know, um, True. yeah, we get, we get dissed a lot, you know? People think, even in South Africa, that it's, it's, uh, it's still very rural, and parts of it are, but parts of it are very, uh, um, very progressive, very, right. you know? Like, in fact, way... A lot of tourists go Yeah, there. you know, in fact, way, way ahead of the game in right. terms of, like, you know, we got our independence 1966, you know, uh, diamond country since 1968. Oh, okay. uh, you know, um, relatively high GDP per capita. Uh, you know, great education system, great healthcare system. Um, just like Canada. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, so yeah. Um, we we we're, we're neighbors and we share cultures. I mean, the language, my home language, Setswana, is represented in South Africa. Okay. You know, so uh, a subgenre like Motoko, which guys like uh, Double HP, Morafi Kulichana, Casper, you know, are all part of this long lineage, and all of those dudes are my brothers. You right, know, I've right. worked with a lot of them in different capacities. You know, um, so there's strong cultural connections again between between uh, the two countries. The way you'd think of like Tanzania or Kenya, right? Or as I say, the U.S. Canada. You know? Yeah, Tanzania has um, diamond platinums. Like, yeah. I feel like he's the only one that people really know yeah. from Tanzania that does music. Yeah. Um, and I wouldn't even know about him either until I went to Afrima. Same. <laughs> because Same. I did not know who he was, but amazingly, he's this yeah. big artist from. Tanzania that yeah. everybody like loves and listens to his music. I, I can't understand how it says, <laughs> but his music is pretty catchy. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, um, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I, I got a shout out of Freeman. I think that, that point that you speak yeah. of is very powerful. You know, yeah. um, Big A, you know, uh, the founder of Afrima, you know, he's a dude I've been talking to quite a lot, yeah. you know, in terms of a lot of uh, what I want to do going forward in the U.S., you know, uh, he's a major plug, you know, yeah. he's been doing big things, um, you know, I've seen him uh, taking Wizkid on tour, I yeah. mean, look at what Wizkid is doing out exactly. here. Exactly, you know, Wizkid is gold right now. <laughs> yo, man, I mean, yo, Drake, Drake views, I mean, that's, that's a major Come spot, yeah. you know, um, you know, and, and, I love the, the the way he's breaking borders, you know, between our cultures, our regions, you know, and connecting us all here in the diaspora, you know, like um, 
you know, this this year, um, my first, I've been here since like mid-June. Right. Um, I came firstly for the Young African Leaders Initiative. Uh, it's a President Obama right. um, initiative uh, that basically uh, helps to, to uh, grow the talents of uh, young African leaders in different industries and spaces, mm -hmm. you know. And one thing that a lot of us kept saying in the program, I mean, it was like a thousand uh, young Africans selected for this. And you get to learn about people who are sometimes in your neighboring country, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes even in your own country. Right. That you didn't know about. Exactly. You know, and it's interesting that we come and make our connection here, courtesy of President Obama, you know. Um, so I think it, it says to us that there's major gaps in our learning and in our networking on the continent, you know. Um, which need to be closed because they represent huge opportunities. Yeah, they do. Major there's opportunities. So much that can be done. Yeah. So much can be accomplished. Exactly. I mean, there's. If we can all just come together. You feel me? There's content that you're creating that when I wear my producer hat might be relevant for uh, 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 broadcasters in Botswana and South Africa and, exactly. and the region, you know. Um, some of those broadcasters are, are broadcasting out to the entire continent, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and some of those links, I mean, when I think of the channel lows of this world, you know what I mean, who, right. you know, who, who've been so major in terms of breaking the borders again uh, for African uh, um, um, African markets, uh, like yeah. Even MTV Africa, MTV Base, yeah, you know, MTV Base Africa, they Trace, yeah. you know. There's a lot going on, um, you know, and even what they do in terms of the awards. You know, I've been fortunate to receive uh, tons of nominations and awards from the Channel O um, a video African Music Video Awards, for instance, and you know. The, the, the networking space and the connections made, you know, I just see them getting like elevating because, you know, like now it's no longer about me trying to reach out to Joburg. Right. You know, it's about, you know, reaching out to New York, you know, reaching out to the Midwest, you know, let's cross over to Europe, you know, let's go global with this, right. you know. So what advice do you have for like up and coming artists? coming from Africa yeah. in general, because Africa is, is a continent, is huge. Yeah. But what advice do you have for, for people coming from those small countries in Africa yeah. to, you know, come out come out there? Because honestly, like, you are just breaking boundaries. Yeah. Like, you're doing what you have to do. So what would you tell them? Yeah, I mean, I think the major thing is, is um, you know, look beyond your borders. I think we have a tendency sometimes to, to be locked in a small town mindset. Right. You know, all you know is, your neighborhood, your block, you know, and you see part of it even here, you know, like, uh, you know, you know your, your, your village, your town, your country, your region, you know, yet there's so much more out there. And, you, and, and you know, the nature of humanity is that, you know, we all connect. I remember a marketing lecturer in undergrad who used to say to us, you know, if you speak to, to human themes, if you speak to love, to anger, to frustration, to joy, to pain, to pleasure. You know, those are things that in any language people understand. Right. And by the way, I mean, and sh this is a special message, especially for, you know, all the young Africans. I know so many Africans come out here, you know, uh, school, work and the like, and a lot are hesitant to go back home. And I understand, you know, a lot of our systems sometimes are not even ready to absorb us or our new radical ideas or newfound learnings, you know, but we need people to go back and change the status quo. You know, because if, if we leave it, you know, to the powers that be, right. then things will never change, That's you know. True. If we as the arts uh, community or, or business arts, you know, want to see like a certain type of development, we have to bring it. Yeah. You know, the classic Gandhi thing, you know, be the change you want to yeah, see in the world, right. you know. So, so yeah, man, go home. Get up out of here. <laughs> So before we go, um, yeah. what should your fans expect from you and the next, before the year runs out or yeah. even in the future? Like what are the projects you've been working on? Like yeah. what are you dropping soon All right, in cool. terms of music? Yeah, uh, first thing is uh, a collaboration between me and Nomadic. Okay. Um, Nomadic is one of the first dudes to rap in Sotswana back home. Uh, he's a pioneer of this Motswakwa subgenre that, uh, that I'm a part of. Um, so we've done a collaboration album, like a very Watch the Throne kind of concept. Oh, nice. Yeah, um, we've been recording that since like uh, early last year. The first single is about to drop actually in September now. Um, that's next month, a uh, couple of days, right? Uh, till we get to September, which is a very big month for us because it's our it's our year of independence in right. Botswana. Okay. And the album is actually called Tswana Renaissance Art. Oh. So it speaks very much to like, um, 
where we want to see us go as a nation, you know, um, in terms of uh, our talents, you know, our economics, our politics, our socialization, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, and, and by the way, we're turning 50 this year. Oh wow. So it's a major milestone for Botswana. You're close to Nigeria. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, we're all products of the wave of independence in the yeah. 60s, you know. You know, so shout out that, that, uh, that wave and the forefathers of our independence, you know. Um, that whole pan-Africanism concept to me is very close to my heart. The album, the last album I put out solo is called African Time. Okay. So again, an exploration of uh, pan-Africanism, you know, with more of a youth context. Mm -hmm. So I want to do more of that, you know, like Swana Renaissance art is also in that line of uh, thinking. Um, contextualized, obviously, to our culture. Um, but yeah, beyond that, like as I say, uh, the album will probably be out later in the year, probably closer to, to uh, Christmas time. Okay. You know, hey, we cracking them sales. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, there's a major uh, collaboration in terms of a deal in the works with uh, uh, Urban Soul Apparel, okay. um, a major retailer back home that uh, also um, has uh, delved into the music space with Rock the City Music. So yeah, watch out for news on a, a, a major collaboration there. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's what I'll talk about for now. But yeah, as I, as I said, I've been recording a lot here. Uh, a lot of new music. Before the year is up, I'll probably throw out like maybe a, a cut or two. You should. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm really eager for the world to hear what I've been working on. Okay, and we're very eager and I can't wait. I'm definitely going to be watching you and you. waiting until you drop something so we can actually share it with the world. Yeah. And I really, like every time, the first time I met you, we had a great conversation on the red carpet and now we had another amazing conversation and I really appreciate you. I appreciate everything you. you're doing for your country and everything you're also doing for Africa in general. So you thank know, you. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Um, so yeah, stay in touch. Follow me uh, yes. on Twitter. It's Tell at me. Zeus GC. Uh -huh. uh, GC stands for Gap City. Better recognize. Mm -hmm. um, and on Instagram is at Zeus Deuce Africa. Uh, Deuce like tennis Deuce. Uh, Africa with a K. Yes. Yeah. Uh, on pa on Facebook uh, it's Zeus Deuce. That's the fan page. So right. yeah. Oh, while you at it, follow at Jam for Brunch. It's a lifestyle. Who knows? It might be coming to your city soon. Okay. We're going to do that. So before you go, you definitely have to give us a freestyle. Uh-oh. Okay. All right? So I'm going to step out and let you do your thing. Okay. Okay. I feel like I really got to talk it up. You want me to get on the mic proper, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, check it like this. Uh, I got to give you a little taste of this Motoko thing, right? So this is like when we flip it. Mixed lingos, you know, bilingual, cats whack in one language, I'm nice in two, uh-oh, shout out Big Most. Uh, my check on with Eddie, sick on, I'm ready, but I'm sipping and I get it, get like a hook, I don't wait, you let me know that man, raise a sharp tongue, cut up the mic, when I lose, man, I'm ready to fight, one, two, jab, come with tens of tea, but ready to explode like the rhymes of ether, the feature, looking like food, I eat ya, follow the leader, trouble us keeper, my lady want the water beats, my soldiers line up, now drop and give me 20, I got lines for days, when I drop, I give you plenty, ha, <laughs> some talk, okay, talk or more, young Fred, I return from Harder than before. And I'm out. Peace, New York. Thank you for watching another episode of Nigeria Kumbi TV. Stay tuned for more videos.